Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you uh, another feature in the depth and slope that may not be noticed. So if you go into your job setup, pick a job site that you're in, put the mode right here on depth and slope, and then go ahead and hit apply. You're still going to be hooked up to GPS at this point. It's still a 3D machine. What I'm going to do is show you how to do a, a cross section from the top of your screen here where it shows the level and the different slopes. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to percentage. So if I go to the gear with the tablet, I can come down here to units and I can put both of these at the very top right here after the US survey fee. I can set this to percentage and percentage on both of those. You can set that to ratio or whatever preferred units you like. But right off the bat, it's asking, what do I want for a bench heading? So what I'm going to show you is right out in front of me right here, in front of my bucket and coming back towards this track, I want to do a depth and slope, but I'm going to call it a variable slope. Because normally in depth and slope, you can only change from, if you, once you make a flat plane, you can do a level slope right here, only one way, pitch it, or you can do a main fall. But I want to show you another option. So to get started, it's asking me for a bench heading. So I'm going to hit the yellow icon for a bench heading giving me my direction of the machine. Now it's asking for a bench elevation. That could be wherever you want. That could be up here on the higher side, down here on the lower side, whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this elevation at the bottom right here, and I'm gonna bench out a flat plane at that elevation. So as I zoom out on the cross section, you can see I've got a true level plane side to side. I can either give it a main fall to give it me a pitch forward or back, and a cross section right there, level or um, side to side level or pitch. What I want to show you is if you go into this one right here, either one of them will give it. The mode is always defaulted to slope, which is this first option at the top right here. And that's what most of us stay in. But if you drop that drop down bar, you can see that there's a section option in there. So this will allow you to almost create a little bit of an infield design. Uh, but it's not saved. Remember, none of these will be saved. So right off the bat, you can see in the memory, I don't have any created. I've got to hit the little black box to the right side, which is going to allow me to create one. It's going to let me add one. So if I simply come in here and hit add, now what I can do is I can use the on screen to build it, or I can use the focus point. I'm going to just go ahead and show you how to do it with the focus point. So what I'm going to do is set my bucket up here on this slope, just a theoretical, this is what I want to make. I'm going to put the tip on the left side, and I'm going to create a point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to where I want it to match at the bottom of a slope that I'm going to create, and hit another one, and I'm going to systematically go ahead and just using my left tip right there, create a cross section out in front of me. So one more up here. I'm going to just touch at the very top. It kind of rises a little bit here to my right side. So right there, now I'm going to come back to the middle, but I'm going to show you that it just created an alignment to the side of me. So I'm going to hit save on that, and you can see that I can give it a name or I can edit it. Right up here, I can edit that, and I could go back into it, and I could give it a, uh, we'll just call it the uh, parking lot. We're going to hit OK. Once again, it's just a one-step option. So once we're done there, we'll go ahead and hit save. Now on this section right here, I can go ahead and use it, delete it, or go ahead and select it. On this next screen, it's asking me where I want to actually start from. So once I put my bucket back over there, I can pick wherever I want this to align out in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here to that point right there. Go ahead and hit apply. And now you can see on the main screen right here, I've got a different cross section setting at the top right there. So if I put it in 3D and roll around, you can see that from the slope there, up to my right side, we'll change back out on this one a little bit, I've got that cross section. So now I can go ahead and actually put an offset in, or you can see right there I've got a fill of 15. It's gonna match the stuff that I already shot out there. And I can go ahead and start cutting in that slope right here. I can follow that, start cutting it. It's just an option that's inside your depth and slope that a lot haven't seen that's in there. So if you need to just go back in here and put this back on slope, you can go right back to the normal depth and slope option. So thank you for watching this video from Site Ticket or Mountain on depth and slope using the option, as you see here, for sections or slope. 
My name is Jeff Larson. Once again, thanks for watching.